And uh, of course, I know you guys um, uh, with the Final Cut Pro X. I mean, the the keynote address was yesterday, I believe. Uh, you know, they've been talking about it in a lot of the news feeds and. And when I looked at it, it looked really exciting. Uh, I've been seeing some of the news, and probably right before the show, I just watched the actual keynote address they had on it because I wanted to see the uh, the Final Cut Pro X in action, and you know, not just you know pictures of it. Um, let me go ahead and show you a picture. Hopefully, it's not going to green out. Stupid uh, Wirecast. Um, I do have a picture of it. And because um, it looks very much like uh, iMovie, the uh, and uh, there it is right there. And it, now it's just really the background portion, you know, the uh, it's more gray, grayish looking. And uh, I'm well, why don't you guys take a look at the picture and look around on it? Uh, I'm gonna give you some of the uh, the new specs on it. It's been totally rewritten from the ground up. Um, it is now support 64 bits um, so you can uh, actually access you know greater than I think it's four gigs of memory and it now it uses all four or it uses all your cores available uh, through I guess Grand Central dispatch support and I don't know see a lot of people don't like that because it looks like iMovie and uh, now now I've been looking at some of the forums and this has been months before the keynote actually came out yesterday. And, uh, and you know, people are saying that, you know, Oh, it's going to be just like iMovie, you know, it's going to be dumbed down for the consumer, this, that, and the other. And actually after I watched the keynote, uh, video, you know, it's, it's not iMovie. I can tell you that right now. I mean, it looks some, the uh, the very window itself looks like iMovie, but um, some of the features I watched there was really surprising what it can do. Because uh, I'll give an example that one of the things that really impressed me, um, they had the main video strip and uh, they had all this edits above and below, some additional audio and maybe video. And somehow they combined it all into one clip and... Uh, he said you can take that one clip and you can edit it again. So I thought that was kind of amazing. Um, so it's got some very unique features. Um, now, like I said, since people uh, see the similarity with the, the iMovie and also the price point, it's going to be, uh, I think, $299, $299. And... That and considering it looks like iMovie, a lot of people think, you know, it's not a pro app. And, and that's simply not true because uh, supposedly when the first version ever came out, uh, 1.0 uh, Final Cut Pro, uh, it was basically, I think, sold at the same price point, uh, around two $2.99. And uh, yeah, it's going to be at the App Store and it should be available June, I think. And... Um, and I actually seen some of the discussions on Mac rumors, and there was one guy. He was like, um, he was like, you know, why should a, you know somebody? He's afraid that you know some teenager is going to get a hold of it, and he's going to have to compete against him simply because, you know, uh, they don't have to pay the full price, which is you know nine ninety nine for the whole suite. And I, I don't think that's the case at all. So. Oh, was it? Well, supposedly I've been reading different for uh, news items that was saying the originally uh, it was sold separately before it went into the uh, Final Cut Suite or whatever they called it back then. But okay, this is okay. I can't see how accurate it is because I wasn't really. Uh, I don't think I was even in the computers back then. Uh, that was probably a bit before my time. So, but as far as what I've been hearing, as far as a few news reports. Yeah, it was original. I guess it was sold separately, and then soon after it was put into the suite. I guess, but um, and now you know because seeing the way my uh, Apple's doing things, um, they they've been you know they uh, of course now they're selling like you know iWorks and uh, 
iLife, and now they're selling separately, like, uh, you know, pretty much they're due uh, in the App Store. So, you know, I think that's why, uh, you know, I think traditionally they have sold, you know, software at a, a smaller price point because it's more... Uh, it's more for their computing platform, and I think that's the, one of the reasons they, they sell it at a, at a better price as far as their software. And I, I've been seeing things like, you know, hearing on the forums that, uh, you know, Apple's getting away from pro apps and pro computers and stuff like that. But I think in this case, um, $299 that they're selling it, I think it will actually advance um, pro apps for Apple and so, you know, make more market for uh, computers that run it and things like that. <clears throat>